The Preston curve shown below is an empirical cross-sectional relationship between life expectancy and real per capita income, also known as GDP per capita. It uses the function L of I equals 6.6354 times natural log I plus 10.754 to model the average life expectancy L of I given a country's real per capita income I. We want to use the function to answer the questions that follow. But first notice how the relationship between the GDP per capita and life expectancy does appear to be logarithmic as shown here. Notice as the GDP per capita increases, so does the life expectancy in most cases. However, notice how the increase in life expectancy is the greatest when the GDP per capita is between zero and 10,000. Let's look at our first question. We want to use the function L of I to estimate the average life expectancy in a country with a real per capita income or GDP per capita of $5,000, which means we want to evaluate L of 5,000. So we'll substitute 5,000 for I, so L of 5,000 is equal to 6.6354 times natural log 5,000 plus 10.754. And now we'll go to the calculator to get an approximation for this. So we have 6.6354 times natural log, here's the natural log button, 5,000, close parenthesis, plus 10.754. So the function value is approximately 67.27. We're asked to round to two decimal places. So L of 5,000 equals 67.27, which means in a country with a real per capita income of $5,000, the average life expectancy is 67.27 years of age. Our next question, we want to use the function L of I to estimate the real per capita income, or GDP per capita, in a country whose life expectancy is 45 years of age. Again, we're asked to round to two decimal places. So now we're given L of I equals 45, we want to find the value of I. So we'll substitute 45 for L of I, which will give us the equation 45 equals 6.6354 times natural log I plus 10.754. So to solve for I, we want to isolate the natural log, then write the log equation as an exponential equation. This will get a little messy, so let's do this on the next slide. We'll first subtract 10.754 from both sides of the equation. So we'll have 34.246 equals 6.6354 times natural log i. Of course, this is zero. So now to isolate natural log i, we'll divide both sides by 6. 6354. Notice on the right side this simplifies to one. We don't want to find this quotient round and then round again later because that'll give us more of an error. So we'll go ahead and leave this as a quotient for right now. 34.246 divided by 6.6354 equals one times natural log i or just natural log i. Now that we've isolated the logarithm, we want to write the log equation as an exponential equation using our definition here below. So we know natural log is log base e. So the base is e, the exponent is this quotient, and the number is i, or the exponential is equal to i. So the exponential equation is e raised to the power of this quotient equals i. Again, we have e raised to the power of this quotient, 34.246 divided by 6.6354 equals i. And now we'll go to the calculator to get an approximation for i. To enter e, we can press second natural log. That brings up e raised to the power of, and our exponent is 34.246 divided by 6.6354 six three five four and enter. 
rounding to two decimal places, we'd have 174.36. So going back to our question, if L of I equals 45, then I equals 174.36, which means in a country with an average life expectancy of 45 years of age, the real per capita income, or GDP per capita, is estimated to be $174.36. I hope you found this helpful.